Okay. It's 11.33. I'm just leaving Dylan. I'm so dead. I'm getting 22.7 miles a gallon. That's up from 22.1 when I left. And uh, here's my little GoPro on a stick. Um, so I'm just I'm just seeing what the time is from leaving Dillon to the Jen's exit. So we'll see you whenever that is. Okay, it's 12:58. I got 22.8 miles a gallon. I'm up two tenths of a gallon. The two tenths of a mile per gallon. But um, we're coming up on the Jen's exit. So here that is. Boy, that is 90 minutes from Dillon right there. 12:58. Now the 12 miles begins, which will be dirt road very soon. Ozzy, can you turn that down a little bit? I mean, I, I think it'll be mostly dirt road, yeah. Somebody's out here checking their mail. Oh, no, they're not. They're getting stuff out of there. Burning permit required. If you want to talk, yeah, it's almost summer. That's what we're doing. We're looking for a camping spot. It is summer. Uh, it's summer break from school, and it's almost well, you know, summer, I guess. See, and already I'm confused. <laughs> I think you're supposed to go up. Uh, yeah, I don't think. I don't know, buddy. But Dad, we're on the dirt road, so can I drive with you? No, you can't drive with me. I have to drive. It's the first time I've driven on this road. And I'm taking the low road here because I know we stayed near the river for a really long time. GPS leading me to this road. I just have my memories of Google Earth. Ozzy, will you turn that down a little bit, please? There you go. Thank you. I know this road goes for quite some distance. So far, I don't think anything that'd make the wife too upset if I'm taking her Subaru on it. But we just got started. I don't need to narrate this whole thing. I will speed this video up and <laughs> I'll let you know how much time it takes to do this 12 miles. And if there's anything significant along the way, we'll slow it down. I bet we see, I bet there's a lot of good game along here at the right time of night. Man. Yeah, we have.
have to go quite a ways before we get to a camping area though. So we'll see. What's my odometer? 40, 42. So we may have gone one mile or two miles, so 40, 42 to 40, 53 or 40, 54 is where we want to be in 12 miles. So this is not going to go. I'm doing 20 miles an hour, which isn't bad. Right. It'll put me there in about 30, 40 minutes. <laughs> Looks like forest service line and I bet there's somebody shed hunting up there and they might be bear hunting but cool also need to wrap our heads around the idea that it this this might burn in a wildfire situation very little we could do wow that is <laughs> some sketchy piece of road still still capable of bringing a trailer up just got a mosey still have a signal attention all right it said my camera got too hot for some reason probably got it on the wrong setting so here's my phone getting the rest of the road journey it's not easily holdable oh, that's somebody's driveway right those are those homes you can see homes on Google Earth. Um, Dad? Yeah. I think, I think the raptors survived the explosion. You think so? 
child. Instantly kill people, huh? Okay, I know this footage isn't going to be that great. But like I said, we'll speed it up. How did the raptors survive the explosion? Yeah, but it's not going to work. We probably don't have cell service anymore. We have to. Hmm. That's all right. We're going to turn around soon. Oh, I love the rocks and the hills. I have to double cross-reference this with some public land to find out what we can what we can legally access and enjoy. Okay, I will be my most carefulest. Yeah, deer don't lay eggs. They have live babies, like humans, like almost all other mammals. Yeah. Okay, there's another driveway. No, that's not the driveway. That's a get around this cattle guard. Not too bad, not too bad. Well, when we get there. switchbacks then we'll get a really good look but even up past the switchbacks there's there's like a big crossroads up there yeah 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 I suppose we we could call it Mount Everest Mountain Everest.
stick up. I hope we don't pop a tire. Yeah, I want them just to the right or left of a tire. Not on the tire, but not between the tires either. What is scary about it? so good nine miles eight eight miles I guess still got three or four to go Trespassing, okay. We're on private property, I get it. Yeah, you've been sitting for a long time, huh? Okay, we'll get out in just a few minutes, okay? Can. Oh, those are I some sharp know, rocks. Like some... Away, Is there anything left to drink? Yes, but it's all gross. Uh, I don't know about that, buddy. That's a chocolate milkshake. But we'll see. We'll stop here in a few minutes and we'll we'll check it out. Okay, bud. Yeah, that would be one of the creepiest things ever. Sorry, buddy, I gotta watch the road. I gotta pay attention to every rock, every bump. Yeah, and every cliff. 
and all the cliffs, of course. Oh, we're getting so close right now. So far, so good. Where are we at? Nine miles. more miles to go. Dad, we are so close to the cliff. Everything is fine. Like There's not really a cliff, buddy. Dad, that is a cliff right there. It's kind of like... trees could bleed us yeah, when you fall over. oh yeah true well I'll try not to fall over into them okay bud that's a logging road okay it says log trucks the one behind me Ooh. yeah careful easy bud easy There's a sign that says log trucks. Okay, that's a forest service gate. Pretty sure with a camper this would be rough. There hasn't been any really tight turns yet. When we do get a tight turn, and I am expecting a few, but when we start climbing, and they should be soon, but we'll see how good slash bad they are. Uh, we might have a, a switchback coming. That's kind of steep we're okay there's a cattle guard still doing okay just uh, keeps cattle from walking across it Anticipated. These are going to be the sketchy miles. We're right at 10 miles. So we should have two more to go. And it should be... This will switch back a few times. And get up to a little bit of a higher plateau. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'll be honest with you, right now, Becky would be freaking out that I have her car on this road. <laughs> but, I just... Uh, you can't call her. But I have pretty good confidence. I don't like that rock. We'll go around it. Oh, tight, 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 tight. There we go. Well, buddy. Okay, good. Yeah, that's a big switch back there. Oh my gosh. That is so Yeah, this is very remote. 
<laughs> wow. Okay, it's kind of leveling back out now. That's good. Those few switchbacks weren't so bad. Maybe there's more. <laughs> Subaru's doing okay. And the road's pretty wide here still. It's impressive. No, I mean, if we if we came across somebody else, it'd be easy to squeak, you know, pass by each other. Here we go. And there's somebody's car. They got a car smaller than this one right up there. So that's a fine piece of property. We'll keep going. We're looking for the crossroads. We're at... Don't worry, bud. We'll make it. I was worried that all the turns and offshoots of driveways and stuff might get me confused as to which road is the main road. And so far, that is definitely not the case. It is pretty intuitive. Uh, just to follow up this road. Uh, I'm, I'm continuing up this road, but it is still kind of sketchy. I'm watching every rock and every pothole. <laughs> and many prayers. Many prayers. Yeah, this is some good country, though. Wow. a little confusing. Hopefully I'm on the right track. I am at 11 miles. And I may have to turn around. This one's the main road. It's just a little bit wider. Like I said, I don't have GPS, so I don't know if I'm on the right road or not. I think I am, but we will see. The 
this looks good. This looks good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there's settlements slash civilization. And if this is the big crossroads. Yep, I think we go this way now at this big crossroads. Okay. There's a bigger crossroads, like five different roads coming in. Big dirt lot, a place you could turn a trailer around in. That's what I'm looking for, but we're getting up close to it. Gotta be. Okay, we're almost there. We're gonna get out and we can both go potty, okay? Fences and driveways and private property signs. This feels right. It's a nice cabin, lots of solar. Ooh, that's a pot holder, a dip. Almost at 12 miles. I think I missed a turn. But I'm not sure where. I'm not going to go much further before I turn around. God damn it. back up this way. Now well, maybe this is it. Well, that's somebody else's driveway. This is it. <laughs> this is it. I don't know if it's the if it's the if I got here the right way. I, sp I think I'm supposed to come up that road, and I think when I leave, I'll go down that road. But this is the. Okay, buddy, we're almost there. I'm just gonna drive a little bit up on this hill, and I am right at uh, right at 12 miles. So that should be right. We should be less than a mile away. Right up this road. I doubt we'll see a for sale sign, but. Well, I think this 
this is it close we'll wait there's a there's a little field on one side of this on the on the right side here there's a little field like this on one side and a little field like that on another side of a big group of trees and the piece of property would be wow there's another road coming in There's that other road coming in. And this is, wow. It might be that there. Yeah, that might be it. Hey, look at all that firewood. <laughs> Yep, I believe this is it. I believe this is it. Right up there on that hill. And we're Okay, so this is where I drove to on Sunday. And if you look in this field, if you look on Google Earth, there's a road that curves up through this field. And I have sectioned off this 20 acres that's for sale that we're looking at. But when I drove up there, I saw this road and I took, a, I took a short video. But then I drove here and I saw this road and I thought, oh, this is the place. So unfortunately, all the really in-depth video I took, I took from right here. This is not on the property. However, I do have some interesting takeaways from the drive through here. This line, there's two roads that come together right here. And just before they come together is uh, the property line. And so you will be able to see, uh, as I look back, uh, you can see what that looks like a little bit, a little bit. I still like it though. All right, I just wanted to show um, I've got some cross sections marked off and I just want to show the gradient of these so you can see, um, as you go across from one side to the other, you can see there is a nice level area right through the middle. And the same is true with the, uh, with the other ones. So easier to level. This center line shows what the terrain is like up above the road. You can see there. And as we come down, still, you can, we can still be able to dig out um, RV spots up there. There's already a little bit of a road. But down here, in the lower area, it kind of slopes down and levels out pretty nice. So anyways, we can, this is the top longitudinal line. There seems to be a good place right in here, not far from the road that we could put in campsites, It'd be easy enough to level. So again, the video I took was for up in this area and this is the actual parcel for sale and just showing you the elevation profile and how level it is or in some places isn't. But this is what it looks like just above the road. There's that other road coming in. And this is, wow, it might be that there. Yeah, that might be it. Hey, look at all that firewood. <laughs> and there's still snow. 